Yes, I am. I am just fully and absolutely shamelessly happy. <laughs> Great. Um, it's like uh, a very, very long Christmas. The first Christmas present under the tree was that I was able to make this film uh, mm. beforehand. I had several projects, uh, what I just struggled and struggled and struggled to finance. And this one went really smoothly. And the whole shooting was such a joy. Um, generally, you, you try to choose wonderful people to collaborate with, but nearly always there is just one bad apple in the corp, and here there was none. So it was, it was really amazing. And then everything what happened afterwards when we finished the film is, is really more than what we ever dreamed for. Well, uh, let's start with the American one, Castavetes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are just uh, starting a new project and uh, the, one of his films, that's what I showed to uh, my cinematographer to start to discuss our next project. Um, I, I think uh, he's more appreciated in Europe than here. A very, very brave person who worked always without the safety net, which is rare uh, in any continent. And uh, while the big classics, uh, I have a very, very long list, um, but I know that Agnes Varda uh, is also presented at AFI now, and uh, her early films mean a lot, a lot, a lot to me. Um, I'm teaching um, at the University of Film and Theatrical Arts and um, some of her films I always show to my students because they are just masterpieces. Um, they are just perfect like diamonds and at the same time with the, the freshness and the freedom of spontaneity. That's a very rare combination. And I, can, I could continue sure. until tomorrow morning. <laughs> um, this film is, uh, is located in Hungary. It happens in the present, but somehow it's a story. Deep down, it's a love story. Um, what so many people can share without difficulty so um, somehow it got very warm and very exact responses everywhere from Korea to Australia through the Scandinavian countries um, very very different uh, audiences with very different daily habits somehow reacted the same way for example they, they were laughing at the same exact moments and thank God these were the moments we intended <laughs> um, to be funny. So somehow this film communicates quite effortlessly. Um, and this is, this is a thing uh, what makes us very happy because in fact, um, everything you make in, um, in this industry, it's about communication. It's about reaching out to unknown people and trying to touch them um, to tell them something, share something with them. So I'm, I'm quite cu curious how it will function in the United States. Well, my biggest surprise was that until now, no. Um, and first of all, it was uh, very interesting in the Far East that in Beijing or Hong Kong or, uh, or Korea, people uh, really, really um, understood every little hints and details uh, of the film. But I was really shocked. It was like it was made especially for them. And um, this is not a film which is very um, explicit about anything. Um, the main 
force wanted to be, our intention was to hide everything beneath the surface. And um, so um, it, it was, there was a chance that everything that we hide behind the surface uh, remains behind the surface or underneath the surface. So um, it was a big question until the first projection, which was at the Berlinale. And uh, we were sitting there and listening the audience reactions and then we were really, really relieved. Uh, it was a very spontaneous, very, very warm uh, reaction. Uh, I'm looking forward to the other screenings as well because perhaps uh, the humor, although it was perceived and was um, really warmly uh, reacted at, um, not 100%, let's say 70%. And in Asia that was 100%, so funny. So perhaps this big, big water between us is bigger than we think. Mm. Mm. You asked me about the necessity of, yes. of communication. Uh, just coming here, um, I read uh, in the news that there was some um, statistical um, survey I really don't know the, the details of it, which showed that um, in, in the recent year, um, the, the time spent um, with speaking with each other, uh, conversing with each other in, in your family during Thanksgiving uh, dropped radically. It is much less time because because politics uh, tore uh, families apart, friendships, old acquaintances apart. And um, I think it is a very, very dangerous um, thing uh, and, and it needs attention. Uh, somehow we can't let politics to be uh, so... Um, we can't let them use us and raise us uh, against each other um, because somehow all these topics which uh, try to um, uh, instigate uh, hatred and suspicion and um, irritation against uh, groups, against each other, um, it is just a tool for something really different uh, just to keep power. So uh, please, fellow citizens of the world, don't let yourself be manipulated. We are in the same boat. This boat is very fragile. This boat is very small. Actually, the globe became much, much smaller uh, during my lifespan, my lifetime. Um, we really have to cooperate instead of uh, uh, finding in each other what we don't like. So, um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's very important and uh, uh, um, the actual currents are very dangerous for all of us. Um, I think um, a normal citizen can feel himself, herself so powerless because we say, okay, it's the game of the big guys, we can't do anything. Uh, but again and again, I think, yes, you can. And you can start on, on your personal level, uh, on, uh, in your private life, uh, with your family, with your beloved ones, with your friends, with your co-workers, how you um, open up towards them, how you um, are really curious to them, how you really are able to communicate with them. So this is a very private story uh, about just two co-workers 
starting to communicate and starting to build a really deep relationship. And uh, that's a starting point for everyone because uh, these two introverted people in, in my film, they, uh, they learn to open up to each other and through this process they learn a lot about themselves and uh, first of all the female character Maria she just discovers also the world around her so um, uh, it's a precious thing to be kind open and communicative with each other Thank you. Tell me what Azt mondtam, hogy szarvas vagyok. Nagyon éhes voltam. Velem volt a társam. Ittam a patakból. Maga állat volt az elmemben, ha jól értem. Endre vagyok, a gazdasági igazgató. Rácz Mária, minőség ellenőr. Palit akar fogni, doktornő. Mondd, Lacikám, nincs valami rendesebb, arcveszed, de van. Maguk privát kis vicce érdekel. Akkor most mondja, hogy mit álmodott valójában ma éjjel. Én nagyon szép meglátom magát. Ezt nem hiszem el. Mi van az, mint? Maga az érintés sokat gondot jelent, hogy nem? De. Hát akkor az gyakorló. Oh, well, it's not by chance that in the film we don't really discuss uh, if it is possible or how it is possible to share a dream with someone else because it doesn't want to be some esoteric, new agey approach. It is like in a tale. Let's, let's imagine that these two people share a dream. What would they do? Uh, how would they react to, to such a situation? Because these two guys, two people are, are really so, um, so much closed in their really gray and miserable but very safe little cage that they would continue their life the same way if there wasn't a very strong impulse. And this is a very strong impulse, if just imagine. Um, so um, it's, um, it's, it's not by chance that uh, the psychologists are reacting this way because it's, um, it's a biological function. This is, this is what we are doing every night. And um, I didn't want to make this some um, neither esoteric, neither metaphorical, um, just, uh, just a very strong situation where you really have to uh, react to. Well, um, first of all, don't uh, accept the rules of the game. Um, and don't think that uh, everybody else is coping well, just you are so miserable, because we, we make this mistake so often. And uh, in very, very elementary human gestures, um, just to be patiently listening to each other, you discover amazing, amazing life stories, amazing personalities. This is what I do now because I'm traveling a lot with the film and I must say I was very much afraid of this. It, it's uh, sometimes every day another town, every day another country because most of the countries the film is uh, opening in cinemas now. It's autumn, it's the ideal time. And um, somehow I didn't get tired because in every town I meet a small team of uh, or bigger team of distributors, these wonderful 
film loving people who are never walking down the red carpets but they do so much for our films and um, each time I get to know personal stories how they ended up there which brought them to this uh, really very humble and so so important service of world cinema so I had wonderful human meetings and then you stay fresh you don't feel that everybody just want to grab something from you but but you are given something you are given the treasure of a real human meeting yeah. um well on set everything is fine um perhaps sometimes sometimes sure you have to convince them that you are in charge that you know what you want to do but uh, also at the beginning of my career i took it always like um like a sort of playful duel and i enjoyed it 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 was a thrill just to um just to convince people uh, and i wasn't bitter about it um, so it was just a lucky approach um, to this problem otherwise i don't know what is more difficult to be a female filmmaker or an eastern Euro european filmmaker i have a big choice of of difficulties and um, what you can just do is uh, focusing on what is um, what you can achieve this way or that way um, it's not an easy profession and uh, sometimes it's sure it's bitter when you propose something and you feel it's something valuable even you know it's something valuable and it's treated like piece of shit it happens it happens quite often sometimes but you just have to cling on those moments when you are appreciated uh, treated with respect and try to give back this respect for those people team up with the right people <laughs>